Fox Talks with the stars of your favorite shows. There doesn't seem to be any any boundaries of, 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 of where or when or, or, or why, as far as even age doesn't seem to matter. I hear from people who say, these characters are just like my my kids, and I hear from people that your character is just like my great grandfather, and uh, it's it's amazing. <clears throat> it just it, it seems to has a very very far reach. First of all, it's very touching that they that they feel a kinship with these characters. And I, I think initially people thought we were going to be making fun of these guys, and sometimes they do, but it's within their dynamic of friendship, as all of, all friends give each other a hard time once in a while. But as far as the show itself, as far as the writing itself, we're not making fun of intelligent people by any means. Okay, now what you want to do first is turn on the ignition and shift in the drive. I haven't fastened my seatbelt yet. <laughs> okay, fasten your seatbelt. <laughs> um, it's really touching. It's terribly, terribly touching. And I think one of the things, I think there's a vulnerability to these characters that people understand. There's, uh, they're outsiders, you know, they're underdogs. And that's relatable and people want to root for characters like that. I remember when we first sat down for the first table reading and it was the first time I had, um, uh, met and uh, Simon and Kaylee and Kunal, and it was the first time I heard them read their characters out loud, and that's when it really clicked. It felt like, oh, wow, I hadn't seen you do it that way, Simon, and uh, it'll make more sense if I move five degrees this way. And once you did, it all just fit. And that, that's when I knew there was, there was something going on. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.